Mm. Okay, um, so if you want to edit your template, um, log in on your account. Uh, shortcut to go there is um, your domain name slash administrator, administrator slash index.php. Okay, so right now you're at the control center um, where all your tools are. Uh, once you chose your template, you can go to... Well, if you haven't chosen your template, um, you can go install. This is where you install or uninstall your template. You choose your template from your desktop. First you have to find it and download it. Um, if you want to find a template, just Google it. Free Joomla templates or whatnot. One site I remember is uh, SiteGround. Um, they have some Joomla templates for you. And you download it, uh, the zip file, and then you just upload it here. Okay, so um, I already have a template, so I'm just going to go to Template Manager. And then right here you have three templates. Um, there's B's that comes with it, and then this, this one is um, JA Purity. That's the one that, you know, um, first installs when you install Joomla. And here's one I also found. Let's just say, you see my site now, it's a, uh, it looks like, um, let me show you what it looks like now. Okay, so if I wanted to change that, um, to something else, just click in this bullet, right, ugh, my mouse, I hate my mouse. Okay, click on this bullet here, um, next to the template name, and then go to default. So that's how you change it. Okay, so right now, the star goes to this template right here, and if you want to preview, go up to the top right, and that's that's the default. See? So you see here it says uimo.com, and that's you know what it looks like. Um, J A Purity. Let's see what that looks like. Looks pretty plain, also. Here's another template I put on my um, other domain name. I'll show you what it looks like. This is, uh, I think I found this at SiteGround, I'm not sure, but you can find whatever templates you want. And you do the same thing, you upload it and just change the default. So that's me, that's my sagehack.com site. Okay, so now you know how to change um, the template. I'll be right back. Um, all right. Now you know how to change the template. I'm gonna change it back to B's because I like that one better, and I don't feel like finding one right now. So, <laughs> all right. So if you wanted to edit it, you uh, you click the bullet point there and click edit, and then you have an option to edit in HTML or CSS. Um, for now, just click on HTML. And here you'll see a whole bunch of code. Um, you can edit it here and then click apply. Or just, I like to click save. Just, you know, because I feel more comfortable clicking save than apply. But, um, it's, it's about the same thing. Um, you can also, you can also, you know, uh, copy and paste this and put in Dreamweaver or text editor if you want. It might be a little bit easier for you to read. Uh, but here, let me just show you. Mm. 
you want to change the logo, all you have to do is um, upload your logo to the correct folder and I'll show you the path in a moment. Every template is different so if you're using this, I'm going by this template, but um, if you're using a different template you're going to have to uh, find the properties of the logo and um, where it's located and then you just um, you upload your logo and save it as the same name as the original logo and then of course you have to adjust the size and everything uh, for this one okay for this one it's in um, it's in the body, it's at the very top, it says H1 ID equals logo. And I already changed the logo, um, but I ch it's the same name as um, what it was before. So it's logo.gif, and it's in the templates folder, under B's, images, and then logo.gif. So make sure when you do go in your... Um, folders to like modify it make sure you go into templates folder and then images like and then bees and then images and don't if like if you see another folder that's um, named images that's on the root folder don't click on that one because it's a different folder just go to this one and then you can um, replace that logo and you can modify the width and the height I just kept it the same and then just click save or apply and save and then cancel out a bit 